Season 10 of Fortnite is finally here. And with these massive changes made to our Fortnite world, there's always hidden secret changes that everybody seems to miss. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at every single hidden location change that has been secretly hidden away from the return of the Season 5 Stone Heads to this warning sign of Moisty Myers' return. From this creepy council of gnomes to the incoming Wild West Tilted Town that has been leaked online. Oh, and maybe even the cube. We're going to be showing it all off in this video. Guys, this is all the hidden location changes that everybody missed in the brand new Season 10 for Fortnite. Alright guys, let's get into it. If we're going to start somewhere, we might as well start with the most iconic change in the game. The meteor that once wiped out Dusty Depot has been frozen in time. This crazy and magnificent sight is held in the center of our Fortnite map. But apart from the fact that this is amazing to look at, and of course it is its own location, there is a hidden secret inside which some players might already know. Inside the meteor, we find a metal case that seems to have been opened. Of course, players will know exactly what this is. This is the chamber that the visitor was trapped in during a previous season in which he escaped to build the rocket. As we're frozen in time and the meteor has stopped moving, it looks like the visitor might have already escaped. He might be in our Fortnite world already. Could this mean we're about to see an update to the abandoned rocket facility? It seems possible. We'll have to keep an eye on that one. On the chillier side of the map, we see these stone heads back from season 5. I say stone heads, there's only one at the moment. But I wouldn't be surprised if we started to see more appearing in our Fortnite map. And of course, it's not very far away from another hidden secret location. This stone hut hasn't just got a toilet resting on top. It's also got toilets inside. I, I don't really know why. <laughs> <laughs> this seems to be a reference to the old flush factory. Are we going to see more flush factory pieces appearing on this side of the map? Currently, this seems to be it, but it certainly is a hidden secret that most players didn't know about. For players who are disturbed by gnomes, it might be best to look away. Near Haunted Hills, a council of gnomes can be found discussing and debating, possibly the takeover of our Fortnite map, or whatever else gnomes discuss. There's something weirdly spooky about this location, so I wouldn't be hanging around here for very long. Presumably the gnome in the middle is the leader of this gnome army. So if you think you can take him on, be my guest. God damn, dude, that place is creepy, man. I'm never going to that location, I'll tell you that much. <clears throat> Of course, we can't help but talk about one of the most hype changes in this new season. The return of Dusty Depot and even the factories have been added into the game. Dusty Depot is a favorite for a lot of old school players and to see it return is nothing but nostalgic. These three iconic warehouses has been the home for some players who've been playing in the earliest seasons, and it seems like not much has changed. Apparently though, the colors of the warehouses have been moved around a little bit. I bet you didn't know that. Another hidden secret change, I would say. Dusty Depot is a favorite location of mine. In fact, it's my most favorite location. So if you want to find me in game, just keep landing there. Of course, the factory is exciting as well, as this too is an OG location. I could fanboy over these locations all day. So we're going to move on to a more secret location that you definitely don't know about. This season is all about twisting time, and we have good reason to believe that there are new locations about to be added into the game in the next couple of days. We know time is twisting, and some of these locations are going to change theme. 
Western Tilted is coming to the game. We've seen a handful of leaks online hidden in the game's files that are revealing a Western Tilted Towers will be coming in the next couple of days. Maps and buildings have been decrypted from the game's files, and even the sounds of this Western world that we're about to enter can be heard online. We know Epic Games is going to be slowly changing these locations throughout the season, so this western map truly is a hidden secret that is about to come to the game. If you're looking to relax down by the pool and maybe see a few secret changes, it might be worth heading down to Paradise Palms. We see a hidden change on the sign outside Paradise Palms. But this isn't just any old sign, this is new. And it doesn't reflect Paradise Palms at all. In fact, it reflects an old location, a swampy location, a moisty location. <laughs> of course, I'm talking about Moisty Myers. Paradise Palms replaced Moisty Myers in an older season and with these new locations changing and being twisted back and forward in time seems like this secret change might be hinting at the return of moisty myers back to season 10 and personally i think that's something everybody wants even this guy why they even added this guy into the game i don't know <laughs> Just while I got you guys, remember, if you do want to support this channel, you can do so by using the supporter creator code that is on the screen right now. Why not be the first one to do it in season 10? It'll make you real cool. Anyway, back to the video. There is a change that not many people have noticed with inside one of the biggest changes for season 10. We know the Loot Lake Energy Orb has exploded and in the process it has frozen time, creating this anti-gravity force field that allows players to float in this location. You can see the Loot Lake Orb is cracked and splitting open, but players might not actually know that you can now enter the orb. When colliding with this orb, you are transported up into the sky, just like the rifts that are already in the game. This is a pretty significant change, because during Season 9, this orb was a solid object. It is clearly split open, and is now acting as a massive rift. Although the orb is still here, it would suggest its power has ran out. And of course, we know it's no longer powerful, because the Loot Lake wires are not being powered. Although the orb is still here, this could be the end of its power. Power. Who knows what that will bring for the future of Fortnite. But the important thing is we can now get inside. And that's a pretty crazy location change. If you miss the giant robot that was built at the pressure plant, don't worry, he is still here. Kind of. The robot that players are naming Optimus Prime is taking the place of this giant robot. This one-armed machine can be seen with one arm up in the sky, replicating the same moves as the giant robot in his victory lap. This is a pretty cute little reference, I'll say that. But I don't think this guy was quite capable of taking on the Polar Peak monster. All the same though, it's a pretty funny reference. Now, players are speculating online that the cube might be returning. We have this every single season. Talks of the returning of the cube. But it does seem the storyline is twisting up time from the past and the future, from old seasons to new. It would make sense that at some point, we're going to see this cube return. Maybe only for a short time, but it does seem to be on the cards. And of course, it was hinted at in the trailer. So we do know the cube is still in the universe. It's just waiting to come out. Guys, that was all of the hidden location changes in Fortnite Season 10 that everybody missed. We're going to be covering so much to do with Season 10, so if you guys want to be on board and follow everything we do, why not stick around? If you guys see any more changes that aren't in this video, make sure you let me know in the comments section below. Alright guys, thanks for listening on this one, and I'll catch you all next time. Here's to Season 10. It's going to be a big one.